In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get your Google Assistant to read on-screen text on your phone. Let's jump in. Hey everybody, welcome to Supreme Guru Tech, where I help break down tech for you. Before we get started, I want to point out that this will only work on your Chrome browser app. So if you use something like Firefox or Samsung's browser, this won't work. Oh. So to get it set up, you want to make sure you have set up Google Voice Match. To check if you've set it up, let's head to the Google app. So what you want to do is search for your Google app, which is this one right here, and open it up. If you look over to the far right side and select where it says more. And so here you will see your Google account and a number of different options. But right here where it says settings, tap into that. We now need to tap into the voice option. And this is how you can go in and set up your voice match. So what I'm going to do here is select the top option for Hey Google. And this is going to ask me a few things. So first of all, it says access your assistant with Hey Google. Get hands free help from Google Assistant. Let's hit the next option. And just agree to the terms and service. So now that it's setting it up, I have before set this up with my voice so I don't need to rescan my voice. What should happen once you enable Google voice commands is that it will ask you to recite the catchphrase Hey Google a few times so it can learn your voice. Just a top tip, if you say the phrase at different pitches to achieve maximum compatibility. Do not be alarmed if you see a message saying you need to allow Google permissions to use screen context. If you see this, then tap OK and you're good to go. Now let's wait for the magic to happen. So let's open our Chrome browser and say those magic words. So I'm going to open my Chrome browser, which I have here. And as you can see, I do have a article already open just for the purpose of this tutorial. So I'm just going to say the magic words. OK, Google. Read this. To read this page out loud, first turn on screen context with the following dialogue or say open assistant settings. Go to assistant phone. Use screen context. OK, then so you, try again. OK, so you can see that is it's asking me to allow the screen context. So let's hit OK. And then what we're going to do now that we've accepted that. OK, Google, read this. All right. From BBC, Avonmouth Waterworks explosion, multiple casualties reported. Multiple casualties have been reported after a large explosion at a wastewater treatment works. So as you can see, at the minute, it's reading this article. As it reads, you'll notice that it will highlight the words it reads as it reads them. There is an option to turn this off. Keep watching to see how that's done. If you want Google Assistant to reread a paragraph, simply tap on the first words in the sentence you want to hear. As you can see, that is reading that same paragraph again. As you can see, also, there is a pause button in the middle and I can pause my article from here and get it to play again. And as you can see to the left and the right of the pause button, you have a rewind and a forward option to go back on the text or I can fast forward just like so. Another cool thing you can do is speed it up or slow it down by tapping on this speed 1.0x and I can adjust this and if I turn up the volume. The whole 
house was shaking, and we literally stood there in shock because. And I you can see shaking. as you're sliding. We thought everything was going this. to fall, and we came out, and all we could see was people running. It's automatically adjusting. It was a bit of a shock, really. So let's just put Bristol it back waste, to which the normal the speed. Even mouth recycling and hit center, done. Tweeted it had closed the site temporarily. At the scene, let's okay. lower that volume. You can also control the text reading from the notification bar, which I will show you now. So as you can see, we have an option to pause, rewind, for fast forward, cancel out of it. And we can also see how long is left on this particular text. The great thing is, even if you leave the browser and open another app, the text will continue to play. So let's try that now. And as you can see, if I open you my here, you, you can see that that's playing still in the background. So let's jump into changing the Google Assistant voice. Tap on the dots in the top right hand corner. And as you can see here, there is an option for read aloud voice. And then what you can do is tap on each circle. So there are two females and two males. So you can select whichever one you prefer. If you like this voice and, and want me to keep using it, just stop here. And it tells you how to set it up. You can also turn off the text sync that highlights the text that it's reading at the moment. Just tap on the text sync option. And that will turn off the highlighting option for whenever it's reading this article. And lastly, the translation option will do exactly what it says to translate the text to an amazing 42 languages that you can choose between. So folks, that is how you get your Google Assistant to read out your articles on your Chrome browser. If you find it helpful in any way, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, then subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and tuning in. Until next time, guys, you have been watching Amory from Supreme Guru Tech. Peace.